All right, all right, all right. Now, learning you know, question two, it's a question on the IUPAC naming system and the isomerism uh, from this November 2019 question paper. In the description below, there are videos on our Bugela which I recorded for this question paper as well. So, question two. Uh, 2.1 but he, the IUPAC name of an organic compound is 4,4 dimethyl pent 2 in okay then go 2.1.1 but he write down the general formula of the homologous series to which this compound belongs so it's an alkyne 2.2.2.1.1 is an alkyne uh, so you know CN H2N minus 2 2.1.2 write down the structural formula of this compound so it's important with the uh, uh, study ama general formulas wako and also know how to draw ama structural formulas as well as the condensed structural formulas so 2.1.2 is one of the structural formula for this compound right so mina whenever I draw a structural formula when given the IOPEC name for that compound, the first thing you check I or the first thing you we identify is the parent chain. The parent chain it's pent. The pent simply says it's not five yama carbons. Now my carbons are my five. Five carbons. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Five carbons. Right, and then the next thing in Zoyenza is to identify the homologous group or series. So since it's two YNE, it means it belongs to ama alkynes. But on the second carbon, I have a triple bond. So Nazog, counting from the left, ama carbon swam so one, two, three, four, five. On the second carbon, going to the third carbon in a triple bond right same deal again parent chain i identified um homologous group identified as well now this is our branches here much i'm a branches one i2 on the fourth carbon um both branches are attached to the fourth carbon daini in methyl alkyl group so the methyl in a one carbon so on the fourth carbon is over na lama branches lao. I see nabu hydrogen na by three. A carbon nabu hydrogen na by three. So so the dilaganja alo then you feel in ama ama luganja ama bonds wako between ama carbons as well as the hydrogens like this. So so the dilay octro structural formula for your for for your comp for, for for your compound. You can also apply the strategy on any other compound 2.2 uh, the organic compound below has one positional isomer and one functional isomer so there's a difference between a positional and a functional isomer so an isomer is as good it's a it's it's what it's a a scissor let's define 2.2.1 the positional isomer So the positional isomer are compounds with the same molecular formula but different positions of the functional groups on the parent chain. So basically an isomer are compounds with the same molecular formula but just different structures. So a positional isomer, it belongs on the same homologous group but the position of the homologous group is in different position hence it's called a positional isomer so lena again let's check now one two three four five yama carbons so the functional group lights the co bond the co bond can be placed the lana or lana but if ever the co group ever on the ends lana or lana therefore it's no longer a positional isomer it's now a functional group because of this is a ketone, right? And a ketone in an aldehyde, I'm a, I'm a functional isomer. 
right? So this one, if the CO bonding is bigger on this carbon atom, I get a positional isomer. So we have a this one. But if in the CO bonding is bigger, it's often exactly not this one, right? Why? Ngoba uh, the C also it all on the second carbon. I'm sure Nanga Bunema Ama Nanga Bunema Maka compounds or Ama Macabons Wako. If you number Risha Macabons Wako, you assign the lowest number to the um to the to the functional group, right? So Susalo C O bond in Bega Napa, it's basically the same thing. So that's why I need to. There's only one positional isomer if you use the CO bond in the middle because of now uh, if I number I'm a carbon so I'm from left in it's one two three from the right it's one two three so therefore it's in a positional isomer A1 now right and then so for this compound write down the IUPAC name of its positional isomer so 2.2.2 is over a pent penten three one on the third carbon one two three i move from la to la i get a positional isomer so that's why ct it's penten three one now the susalo CO bonding in begging up, it's going to be the same as this one. So there's no change, gosh, gosh. That one, it's just a flipped. Is over just flipped in JPL, right? So for two point two point three, the structural formula of its functional isomer. Okay, now so now functional isomer for two point two point three. Um, somewhere I did mention that ilugans e e ketone aldehyde ama ama lugans ama isomers ama functional isomer. So Lana, we need to produce an aldehyde from the structure. So we maintain the same carbon, the same parent chain. Carbon, 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 carbon. I one, two, three, four, five. So in aldehyde, this is It's this one. H. H. Uh, then sibana ma hydrogens together. Sibana ma hydrogens, hydrogens, hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. Didn't forget about you, hydrogen. So. This is our aldehyde. So go aldehyde, we know that the CO bond must be in on one of the two ends of the lugans of the structure circle. It's either up or up, but make sure that the functional group is on the ends. So this is the functional isomer for this ketone. So now this is on this is a good 2.3 all right now for 2.3 uh, 2.3 but you consider the concept that the condensed structural formula of an organic compound below so right off the bath see I want to go to the OH is Jella or what is in an alcohol this is a compound of an alcohol the homologous group for this compound is a Amalogans are alcohols. 2.3.1. 2.3.1. Uh, 2.3.1. But is this a primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol? Give a reason for your answer. I mean, it is a tertiary alcohol. Why do I say that? Because of the carbon. Uh, because of the carbon. The carbon um the carbon atom bonded to this functional group um is bonded to three other carbon atoms that's the definition of illogai tertiary alcohol language so you need to identify the carbon bonded to your functional group so this is a tertiary 
tertiary alcohol uh, because of the C uh, because of the C atom uh, the C atom the carbon atom bonded to the uh, snatin go by visa little OH the OH is hydroxyl yes hydro hydroxyl group bonded to the hydroxyl group is is bonded to other three is bonded to other three uh, other three carbon carbon atoms so this is our answer our reason as to why we say it's a tertiary alcohol 2.3.2 Point two. Write down the IUPAC name of the above compound. Uh, this is a tertiary alcohol. How many carbon atoms do we have in the parent chain? The one in the brackets. It's a group, right? So it's now one, two, three, four, and a alkyl group, which is a meth methyl methyl alkyl group. Uh, so it's now one, two, three, four, right? It doesn't matter what the I count from right to left or from left to right because of there's an even number of ama ama logans ama carbons. One, two. I think count it One, two, one, two. Yeah. So ngapa it's one, two, three. Yes. Okay. Back, 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 back. It's one, two, three. One, two. So therefore, this is a counter from right to left. From right to left. This this alkyl group young paisi I'm skipping it, but the in my head in Pindani count food. But anyway, we count from right to left because of the carbon bonded to the functional group must be given or assigned the lowest number. So see counter from right to left. So Siobano two um Siobano two all eggini and then the parent chain has four carbon atoms one, two, three, four. So it's going to be um a booth a buthen a buthen parent chain and then Siobano Nelogansh in a methyl group ne methyl group um on the second carbon. So therefore it's going to be uh two methyl methyl buthen dash to all so this is our answer the parent chain in our one two three four carbon atoms on the second carbon in an alkyl in a hydroxyl group and then i have a alkyl group a methyl group on the second carbon so this is our uh, answer to 2.3.2 .2. now for the last question 2.3.3 write down the IUPAC name of the major organic compound formed when this compound undergoes the elimination reaction now sorry now Lana if an alcohol undergoes ilogans e the elimination reaction we get in dehydration amanzi azoba removed from ilogans azoba removed from our compound so you put the oh as well as a hydrogen so therefore it means a a unsaturated hydrocarbon will be formed so in our case uzoba yini the alkene. Who's alkene? You're forming the alkene. Alkene meaning is a double bond. So a double bond. So therefore, let's say we remove this guy, the OH and the one hydrogen up. 
the branch will remain will stay intact yo right is ohlala intact so the only thing is is o change shall it's the o l eqineni then on the second carbon kuzobanani nale double bond le so 90 is owenzeka ke it's going to be 2 methyl methyl put then then dash two in two dash in so therefore siobana so in unsaturated hydrocarbon which is a double bond since siobana so in dehydration with elimination reaction of a alcohol so you put the oh and one hydrogen so therefore go form a double bond so the name structure doesn't change it's only the functional group j so the o l say remove as you place our band e n e representing ilogaji alkene not alkane alkene rather so yeah if you do it thanks for tuning in thanks for watching if ever we enjoy this video um of course like like the video um, if ever you new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Aspona Negule Fide Landeline.